Hey guys, let's talk about how to connect an Android phone to a HY300 projector. As you can see here, back on the screen, I have the Mag Cubic, which is the HY300 projector in my phone. It's an Android phone, Samsung 8, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, okay? Let me just show you here that I have this app, the Trump screen. That's the one that I use to control or screencast or do whatever I want back there on my projector, okay? So super, super simple. First thing that I have to do is just come here to your Wi-Fi and make sure that you have your Wi-Fi connected to the router that's connected to the projector. So the same router. Here you see my Wi-Fi dash 24. So if I come back there to settings, I'm using the remote control right now, okay? So go to settings, network settings. And here you see wireless network and my Wi-Fi dash 24. So it's the same Wi-Fi, it's connected, okay? Just make sure that you have that. If your menu is a little bit different, it doesn't matter. You just need to go to the network and look for the Wi-Fi that you're connected to, okay? So back here to home. And from here, you see that I have the same Wi-Fi, so I'm good to go. Then I just need to come here to the Play Store and look for this app. So here on Play Store, just uh, go on search and look for this projector here, this uh, app here, that is, that's the trans screen for Android. You see here, there we go, that's the one. You see the icon, this blue icon here, just make sure that you get the correct one. Already have it here, so I'm gonna open it. And you see that lists already my projector back there and the IP address because it's using the Wi-Fi to connect. Super simple. Then you just hit here to connect and it starts working. So you can do different things here. You can start uh, uh, casting, uh, load a photo, audio, video, document, mirror the control and the remote. Let me just start show, uh, showing here, start casting, start now. So basically it's mirroring the screen, you see back there, super, super simple. Whatever you show here is gonna show there. Stop casting there. Photo, let me just load any photo that I want. Super simple as well. If you're doing a presentation or something, you wanna load a photo, you just do this. You see that takes a while back there and it loads. There we go. Then let's say you wanna come back and show a video or something, right? Just come back here to the main screen show a video I'm just play a video that I have here. It loads there as well. It's playing. Super simple. It's even better than using our, the remote control, the original remote control, right? You can load a document that I have here, any document, a PDF, whatever document that you have in mirror control. That's super nice. Okay, you see here that I have the same screen back there and I can control everything. I can just tap on it and it loads there. You see? Easier than use a remote control. If I double tap here, I can go to settings, for example. Network settings. There we go. I can just use here to come back home. Here I can just use this to draw here something you see here let's say i have a presentation or something i can just draw back there super nice then i can just clean it up come back here to the mouse control and do whatever i want from here it's very nice and something else here just exit the mirror remote control and come back to the main screen here and i can use as a remote then it loads the buttons uh, like simulating or emulating a remote. So I have the buttons here that I can just control back there. Exactly like my remote control, okay? So similar to the remote control, see here the OK button and everything else. But I have even more options comparing to the regular remote control. Let's say, for example, I want to use uh, the touch. So I have here the touch that I can control the cursor back there. And I can use the buttons like I'm using right now to navigate back there. And I can control the volume as well. Let me just show you here that I'm pressing the volume here. 
and it's controlling back there. Super simple. Okay. Then I can just come back home or go uh, wherever I want to go. Load any app. Let's say I want to uh, load an app that's there, not here, but there. You see that I have back there on my projector, I have a uh, office, I have a screencast, Google, YouTube, whatever I have here, I can just load there. Okay, then I can come here to buttons, then I control there, everything that I want. I can just load as a guest and have YouTube working. Super simple. Then I can just come back home again. Okay, super, super simple to use. You can use as a mouse, touch, button, or apps, and also control the volume. Okay, this is one option. You can use everything from here using this app. And if it doesn't work for you for some reason, I, I doubt it that it, it doesn't work, but uh, you can also use this other software that I have here, which is the Blue Remote, okay? This one does the same, but this is using the Bluetooth. So as long as you have the Bluetooth enabled, let me just show back there that I have a Bluetooth enabled here on settings. When I come to Bluetooth, let's say you have an, an issue with the, Network, you cannot connect to the network. We are in a company that you cannot use uh, the Wi Fi, local Wi Fi, or something on a hotel, whatever. Then you come here and you use Bluetooth. So you're connecting directly from your phone to the HY300 projector. And you're going to use this control as well. So here, see my Galaxy S8 Plus. So basically, what I do is just come here. Let me just come here and unpair so you see how it works from scratch. So I'm unpaired right now. I don't have my phone here anymore. I have my iPhone, but not my Android, right? It's not paired. So here, I just come to the settings and I'm gonna go to connections and look for Bluetooth. There we go, Bluetooth. You see that I have here paired the device. So let me just unpair from here as well. So I don't have any more. So neither here or there, I don't have my HY300 anymore. Then I come here and I scan for the devices that I have available. The phone is scanning, looking for any device available that uh, has a, um, the Bluetooth. You see here that I, I found the HY300 Pro just because I have the screen open here. When I have it open here, it's findable or searchable. So I just come here and I can connect to the projector using Bluetooth. It's pairing, just need to wait and confirm. There we go. Now here chime and when you come back here, you see it's paired the devices. And you, when you go there to the screen, you see again, it's paired the devices right here, Galaxy S8 Plus. As long as you have that, you're good to go. Super simple. Then you come here, this software is the search here for remote control. Let me just come here. I don't remember the name. There we go. Bluetooth remote. So look for this one here. Oops, come back here. Bluetooth remote and mouse, that's the one. Just type like this and look for this Bluetooth remote. Okay, let me just show the details here. That's um, the developer. So you make sure that you get the correct one. Just install it, click open. Then you're gonna see the list of the Bluetooth devices just right here. Okay, make sure that you click here before. Then you look for the device. There we go, HY300. And then you come here to the top and connect. Okay. You need to do those steps, otherwise it's not going to connect. And you see that becomes blue here. So it's basically working right now. Take a look at back there. When I click here on home, it comes back home and you can control. Oops. Just come back there and you can control everything from here. 
Okay, let me just uh, use here so see just working back there as well. We use the middle one as enter. This one is back. It's working. You can even use as uh, air remote, uh, air mouse. And when you select here, you see back there that I have the mouse working, right? And I move here as an air mouse. So it works pretty fine. You can load an application here as well. Okay. So super, super simple to use. Or you can just use cables if you want to, right? You can use cable, but the cable is just to mirror. It's not like a remote control, right? I have here a cable, HDMI. Let's say uh, you don't want to use Bluetooth for anything or it's too complicated for you or in a hurry. You just connect the cable like this. USB, uh, HDMI to USB-C. That's the cable that I have here. I'll leave the link here in the description because some cable don't work. This one does. You just connect here. Wait for a while. You're gonna see a message here saying the HDMI is connected. There we go. Okay, super simple like this. Then you go there to the HDMI. And just wait. HDMI no signal. And all of a sudden you see there. There we go. Okay. Just make sure your cables well connected here. And you have Samsung DeX back there. That's because I have an Android phone here. Then I can use Samsung DeX. That's the one here, see Samsung DeX. You can use it as a touchpad. Then I can just control a mouse back there. There we go and load anything that I want. That's one option. I'm gonna show you the other one in a while, okay? Because if you have a new phone, it's not gonna work with Samsung DeX. But with DeX, you can do whatever you want here, just as in a computer. You see that I can load something there. I'm using my phone as a mouse and I can control everything from here. Load a video or something. Let me just close this one and load all the apps. To see here, if I go to the left side here, down, I see my apps and I can just use them. That's one way to go. Okay, other option here is just, uh, I'm just close everything here. You just come here, you see that you have the option to mirror the screen. Somewhere here, just open this and mirror, you see here, using Samsung Dex, uh, tap here to switch to screen mirroring. There we go, now it's just mirroring the screen back there. It comes to HDMI no signal for a while, and then it loads my phone has a mirror there. I'll just make sure that I have the cable well connected here, guys. Sorry for that. There we go. Okay, so it's mirroring the screen right now. Super, super simple. If you have a flip phone or a new phone that's using a different Android, uh, you're gonna have the mirror right away. You just connect the cable and you're gonna see there. As long as you have this connected to the HDMI here, and you just load it in my there, you're good to go, okay? So with new phones, old phones, you can use mirror or the Samsung DeX. Super simple, okay? And let's say you still don't have uh, any remote control. You just lost your remote control. You got to a company, uh, to a hotel. You, you wanna do your presentation. You just lost your remote. You cannot find it. Okay, no worries, you can use a mouse. Let's just grab your mouse. Usually you have a mouse, right? That's a Bluetooth mouse. Then I have the dongle just right here. Okay, and with this dongle, you just plug it here and you're good to go. Your mouse start, starts working right away. Then you can just use your mouse to control the screen. You see back there, I'm controlling a cursor there on the screen. So super, super simple. Let me just disconnect the cable here. You see that it comes back there. Then I can use as a mouse. I see that I'm using a mouse here. I can just right click to come back. Then I can go to any menu here, just using the left click here, okay? And right click again, comes back. So super, super simple, okay? So guys, basically I'm showing everything about how to control your HY300 using 
an Android phone or how to connect an Android phone to your HY300, okay? So it works pretty well. I hope this helps. Leave your comments here. Subscribe to this channel and I see you in the next video.